In Bristol's brand new memoir, she decides to tell the world and her family about how she lost her virginity to Levi on a camping trip. Shall I read this to you? Here's, I can't wait. Here's my interpretive reading of this. Here's what she writes. Okay. I didn't know that girly flavored wine coolers were just as likely to get you drunk as the hard stuff. Wow. All I knew was that I was with my ruggedly handsome boyfriend who loved me, and we were getting away with a late night camping trip without anyone ever finding out. Now, that's not all. Bristol goes on to recall the morning after she got drunk. I wondered why they called it why it was called losing your virginity because it felt more like it has been stolen. Oh! Okay. Quite frankly, <laughs> come on. I don't get why you share anything like that unless you're simply trying to to sell a book and she has every right to to write a memoir to sell yeah. a book. But do you think there was a little too much sharing going on here Tanika? AJ, you know how this works. She got to divulge some deep dark secrets in order for people to buy your book. Yeah. And we're living in a year where Snooky released a book. Don't forget that. And if she could release a book, why not Bristol Palin? But isn't it too much? I don't of care course. that she's releasing a book. I'm asking you. A thousand Do percent it's too much, AJ. We know this. This is the industry right now. Unfortunately, her mom is playing the same game. Yeah. She's sort of dangling the whole card about, I might run for president, I might not. I'm going to get a TV son show. Someone is going to read all about Absolutely. this one day. Well, well, should we talk a little bit more about what Bristol says about Levi? Because Please. it's right here in the book. Uh, she says that her relationship caused her public embarrassment on an international scale calls Levi the gnat, names Levi Johnson, who's constantly spreading false accusations against our family, and says he cheated on me about as frequently as he sharpened his hockey skates, which Sexy. I'm guessing is frequently. <laughs> yes. uh, that gnat, now coming out with his own book this fall, it's called Deer in the Headlights, My Life, in Sarah Palin's Crosshairs. Quite frankly, and I don't see this happening, but I think it is time for Bristol and Levi to put their son first yes. and stop airing all of their dirty laundry. I mean, really, at yeah. some point they have to be that mature, don't they? I think you need to remember they're children. They are youngsters who had a child way too early. And right now in the age of teen mom, I know we're glorifying moms that are having children to a certain extent. And so she's riding on that wave right now. It's very in, and people are listening. All those girls who are having kids, they've kind of made her her hero. We discussed this a lot when we were watching Dancing with the Stars. We were aghast. We were so shocked. We were flabbergasted that she made it as far as she did. That's because there's a whole audience out there who are looking up to her because they're in the same predicament. So yes, they are sharing too much information. They don't know any better. Her mom's sharing all of this information. That is what she's been taught to do. So no surprise if this winds up on the bestseller list, I guess. Oh, really? Are you going to put that out there? Well, you're the one who just Come said on, she's got all these people. <laughs>